Hey, it's Tanya. Check out my friend Anna's amazing fava bean crostini. Hey Anna, what's in there? So we have fava beans fresh from the farmer's market, the fairy building. Salt <laughs> from Honduras. <laughs> fresh pepper. <sighs> Olive oil also from the farmer's markets. And uh, a little bit of parmigiano reggiano. That's it. Lovely. Is there any garlic in there? I uh, know I should put some garlic. How did you prepare the fava beans? The fava beans I just basically uh, peeled from the pods and then I put them in water. Blanche. So, <laughs> mm, I learned. What does blanche mean? Just put them quickly in the water and then take them out. And then you Cold or hot water? Oh, hot water. Mm. water. Uh-huh. And then you just have to... Um, then, you, then you get the beans out and you have to re-peel. Oh, yeah. A little bit of work. So a little bit of work. Is it worth it? It's worth it because the fava beans, they're only in season in the summer. Anna is good in the kitchen. Yeah, it's, it's Ooh. <laughs> oh, you guys, I tried. <laughs> I don't have very many specials. No, I love it. So what did you do with that fava bean puree? So I uh, grilled some um, ciabatta bread. Mm. How did you grill it? Of just on a pan with a little bit of olive oil and garlic, but I actually forgot to put the garlic. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and then I put the fava bean puree on top, put a drizzle of extra virgin olive oil. The one from the farmer's market. The one from the farmer's market, and then uh, some fresh ground pepper, and the and just shave some parmigiano. parmigiano I can't wait. Oh, Anna, it's good. Yeah, that tastes fresh. <laughs> <laughs>